I've forgotten all of the ingredients. <laughs> Help! <laughs> what did I come in here for? <laughs> Hello and welcome to another video. Today, we're gonna be making the most millennial thing ever. What is it, Carly? Avocado bread. Avocado bread. That is bread baked with avocados inside of it to give it both taste and moisture. But a small twist here, this is actually a vintage recipe from the 1970s that we saw in a TikTok by B. Dylan Hollis. Not quite so millennial anymore now, is it? Nope. Yes, it seems that before millennials discovered avocado on toast, their forefathers wanted to skip a few steps and just put the avocado directly in the bread. It's cute, it's simple, it looks tasty, I think it's supposed to be green. And it's going pretty viral because at the time of us filming this, this TikTok has like over 4 million likes. So I wanna know firsthand what this 4 million like avocado bread tastes like. So Carly got us several hopefully ripe avocados. So let's see if this recipe is as simple as it seems. And if it works, we're gonna be making avocadoception, which is avocado toast with avocado bread. All right. Let's do it. So let's start with our wets, which is I feel like the visual impact of this bad boy. I mean, it's avocado bread and it starts hot with avocados. Like the avocados are first. Coming in hot with avocados. That was kind of good. Yeah, I'm gonna try to like sort of like get my cocktailian flips, you know, moves with this, uh, the cooking, How the prepping. Do I don't know, kind of like a thing like that. So basically the recipe is that we're gonna preheat the oven to 350. We have to combine two ripe avocados into like this large bowl right here. We'll twist and voila. That looks pretty good actually. Not bad. Decently ripe. With this recipe, you're taking the avocado and you're basically replacing the fats that would go into your normal bread. Like butter? Like, yeah, and using avocado because it's fatty as like a substitute. So instead of creaming sugar into butter, we're just creaming the fruit, which is something I happen to be familiar with. And there is no yeast. So I don't know if it's technically like bread or it doesn't have like a rising component, mm. but it looks like a pound cake. It does kind of look like an avocado pound cake, I agree. Maybe we could actually make, given that baking has a lot of downtime, just as like a general thing on the channel that we just narrate Disney sequels, animated sequels. Honestly? Yeah. Featuring Aladdin's hot dad. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Are you trying to say that you think Jafar is hot? I don't find him hot, right. but I find him sexual. <laughs> I'm remembering that back in the day when we were working on this channel more, Sophia was not involved in the cooking as much. No, I usually came in at the end just to taste. So Tyler um, has to deal with me more now. Be a functioning menace. Yeah. On set. Yeah. There you go. I'm um, saboteur. Yeah. But give me an avocado. I, I can, I can, um, Shell? Watch Sophia go to work. Shuck, husk, an avocado? Here's the thing about Jafar and his hotness, okay? Sure. Also, like, when he's like a genie, he's like buff and stuff. Okay, I feel like that's nice and green. What do you think? Looks good to me. Now in goes three quarters of a cup of sugar. Three quarters of a cup, how do I do that? I have a half cup. <laughs> that's, that's a quarter. A quarter cup. Oh, three quarters. <laughs> I thought this was like that nightmare, mm. like, puzzle. It's like you have one thought, cup. Hmm, how do I do that? <laughs> <laughs> I just make you do math on the spot. <laughs> a one, ah, 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 ah. A two, ah, 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 ah. A three, ah, 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 ah. Okay, now that, that that's over. Yeah. I can tell you guys about what I always try and put in videos and never gets in, is my reference to the Sesame Street count song, but the word count is bleeped out. You know that I am called the count. Because I really love to He goes, I slowly, slowly, slowly faster. Once I start in it's very hard to stop. I the spiders on the wall. I the cobwebs in the hole. I the candles on the shelf. When I'm alone, I myself. Oh yeah. That's the best part. All right, so now we're gonna come in with the spatula. Yes. And we're gonna mix all this bad boy together. I will say, I do like avocado, like smoothies and stuff like that. Yeah. So I feel like whatever this is, is about to taste good. A green machine. Okay, so we have it at this stage. What do you think, Carly? Look good to you? I think it looks good. Cool. Looks, I mean, it's like a interesting dessert guacamole. It's very green, very green. I think the color looks good. Yes. All right, so now to complete our wets, we need to bring in three eggs. 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 Egg me. I like eggs. Time for three. Oh, mm. well, three eggs. Egg one, egg two, egg three. And combine it. Let's call that mixed. 
the sound. The sound. <laughs> and it was pretty nasty. Yeah, I know, it was bad. It was the reverse ASMR. I was like, I was like I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> then our dries are going to be to combine two cups of flour. <laughs> Tyler's favorite method of like evening out Which his is dries is just furious shaking. It's very unhinged. I was trying to hide it from you guys. Yeah, so, I don't know why. I don't know. I, You're the only thing to watch. It's, We're all watching you make this avocado bread. There we go. Two cups of flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. One, two, and three. Cool. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Would you like me to combine that with a fork? Uh, actually, I would the get a whisk. Back. A whisk? I get you a whisk. Just do a whisk. I can get you a whisk. I know a whisk guy. You have a whisk guy? I have a whisk guy. Is it Carly Dawson? It's literally Carly. <laughs> it's Silver Carl. All right, green machine onto our bat chopping board. Combine the two, fold. And let's dole. Yes. Okay. Commence folding action. So is this, is, am I folding it all correctly here? No, but okay. that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think it looks really good. Does it look kind of tasty? It looks like guacamole. <laughs> it does. Idea for the future, dessert guacamole. Making things that shouldn't be desserts, dessert. Dessert pasta, dessert guacamole. In you go. We seem to be baking guacamole. Okay, here we go. Could you put <laughs> beef jerky and fruit leather into one thing? Dessert jerky, a sweet jerky? I think I, I'm blacking you out right now. <laughs> I'm literally trying to make this work. Did you really pick like a jerky fruit by the foot though? She did. <laughs> meat by the foot. <laughs> meat by the foot. Yes, yes, Carly, it's meat by the foot. All right, so I am now evening out our avocado bread. There are some pretty healthy chunks of avocado in here. I wonder how those turn out in the bread. And then bake for 45 to 50 minutes. Down, and it's hot in there. Okay, you wanna say goodbye to it, so? Goodbye. Okay. So it's been 50 minutes. It's yes. presumably cooked. It smells really good in here. It smells very good. Yes. I um, don't smell any avocado, but I smell cake. Yes. So let's take this out and taste test it. Incoming. Woo! Oh, it got tall. Oh. Oh, it looks pretty. It's still oh. green. Yep. Hold like, on. It looks like pestoed cake. It looks beautiful. It looks really good, actually. Wow. It's definitely risen big time. No yeast but it's definitely taller. So that's a win. <laughs> All right, ready? Do you want me to try and catch it? Whoa! <laughs> you, you pammed it so well. Nailed it, it's okay, that looks good. And that is what we call the structure test. Yeah. <laughs> so I think what we have to do is taste the avocado bread by, by itself. itself. Yes. Yes. And then we're gonna move on to our avocado section. Okay, how does it feel? I mean, it feels very nice and loafy. Nice and fluffy too, not loafy. like a rock. Ooh. How does that look? Can you see the steam? <laughs> there literally is steam. It doesn't smell bad. It has sort of like a like a savory avocado smell to it, like a hot avocado smell. That is not the greatest. What do you think? Microwaved. Microwaved avocado. A microwaved yeah. taco smell. Oh, oh right. Yeah, like you just like put your entire taco in with all the ingredients on top of it. But let's see how it actually tastes. So we have a slice. Do you want to take that? Just hold it. Here's our first slice of avocado bread. Do you bread. want to share this one? Yeah, I'll feed it to you. Okay, cool. I'll feed it to you romantically. You don't want to cheers it? I can give you as each a little piece from right. my hand. All right. How about I regurgitate it back into your mouth from Like my, a penguin. Like a baby bird, yeah. Okay. All right, let me take a piece. Ready? Cheers? Yeah. All right, avocado bread. That tastes really good. I really like that. That crust is really good. The crunch on the outside. The smell test wasn't amazing, but that taste test is solid. It's pretty sweet. Can I help you? What is that? <laughs> it's incredibly difficult to pinpoint what it's like. Mm -hmm. It's not like a lot of other stuff. I can taste the eggs in there. It's got like an eggy taste, kind of like an egg bagel. It reminds me a little bit of the outside of a bow. You know how bows, like those, the white bows yeah, that have the, like the pork inside? Yeah. The dough is like very like fluffy and sweet. Yes. Can you pick out the avocado in it? I think I taste more egg than avocado to be me honest. Me too. I kind of taste like a little bit of egg, Vague sweet bread. Carly, would you like to taste it? Sure, I, I will. Oh, it's a lot sweeter than I thought it would be. Right? It's sweet. It's sweet. I think it's like banana bread. It's fruit in a bread. Yeah. I actually like it. I don't, I don't think I would ever make it, but. <laughs> I think that it is a distant relative of a loaf of bread, but a close cousin to a banana bread or like a carrot cake loaf. Sweet flavored hot dough. Yes. Okay. So that was inconclusive. Right. But overall, we like it. So I feel like general thumbs up. Let's now proceed to our avocado section. So we got to get our ingredients ready, i.e. 
the toppings of our avocado toast. More avocado. More avocado. We have salt, black pepper, and red pepper flakes. What we're not gonna do is add the egg on, which I know is a staple of avocado toast because we don't want the egg to, and its yolk, to overpower the avocado bread. All right, there we go. That looks pretty good. All right, should we try it? Yeah. All right, ready? avocado -ception. It's not better. No. 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 The avocado's overpowering it a little bit. It's definitely not bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just that the sweetness of the avocado bread yeah. kind of overpowers the whole thing. Yeah. So it's kind of like you just put pepper on top of the avocado sweet cake. Right. Yeah. I think that maybe the avocado deception is a bridge too far. So. With the avocado bread made and tasted, as well as the avocado exception made and tasted, I'm happy we tried both of them. The yes. internet had piqued my interest. Yes. B. Dylan Hollis piqued my interest. I think that my overall experience is that this cake is pretty good. It didn't taste at all like I thought it would, but I accept it for what it is. Me too. I like it. I'm happy that the internet made us try this. I agree. We will definitely be eating the rest of this. Oh yeah. Maybe not making avocado exception toast, avocado toastception, but Maybe like, I wonder if you could put some like jam on it. Interesting. Nutella? Maybe. Whipped cream? What would go with avocado? So with that, if you like this video, make sure to smash or gently tap that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, where we make more things from the internet. Like meat by the foot. Sure. You can smash or gently tap that subscribe button. B. Dylan Hollis, thank you for the recommendation. He has a lot of like cool vintage recipes that are on there. So if you guys wanna check those out, those are pretty cool too. Here is our social media handles where we do social media stuff. Here is our merch website where we have merch. And with that, we will see you guys uh, next time.